Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you have never seen my face before, hello, I'm Michaela, and I'd love for you to subscribe, become part of our family here on YouTube. It's time for January. So here it is on all of its glory. Um, but it is time for January, so I'm not really gonna say a lot. We already did the initial setup video. Now it's time for January. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's just get started, shall we? So, here we go. Okay. okay, it's time for January. So here's another close look at the journal. Um, I know I just showed you guys. And the um, initial um, one, but I wanted to show you again. So let me... There we go. Um, <clears throat> so, for January... I decided to go with a scrapbooking theme so you could see I have the scrapbook paper covering both the main pages I thought that was really pretty and I somehow got it to line up the right way I don't know and then I took another little piece of just scrapbook paper and wrote January 2023 on it it's very simple but I thought it looked really good so then we're gonna turn the page and this is my month at a glance my little important box um i put some more of this over here just to tie it in it's just this month is black and white if you can't figure that out um but yeah so i just did that i thought it looked really good um in the future months though i think i might put the calendar over here and the important box over here so it's not it doesn't look as cluttered and bunchy then we have my habits and my mood tracker i just did this like bar and i have the three different ones happy moderate upset sad angry whatever over there <clears throat> um so yeah and i just drew out teeny tiny little calendars for the habits again i did the scrapbook paper behind the header then I did my Mills of the Month page, um, scrapbook paper, the header, and then I took and wrote the date um, for each. And then I kind of, I did this little Dutch door thing to kind of just add to it. So I thought that was really cute. I really like the idea. I did this in my last journal and I really liked it, but I did it like where they had like a big brick to write in and I didn't really need all of that so I did it this way a little bit more uh, minimal then I have a quote page and there it this one says there are far far better things ahead than any we leave behind and that's from C.S. Lewis thought that was just a really good quote for January so I put it in here um then I have my YouTube and TikTok page I normally do these these together so I just split the page in half and did it that way so on the next page is my cowgirls touch page which is my business definitely go check it out i have an etsy shop um and a facebook page i will link it below for you guys if you want to go check it out i really like it and then we're getting in to the weekly spreads this one is very easy i just kind of make a cross in the middle of the page and it gives me enough space and then I get an extra little box to write notes. And I did that for every week this month, I think. Um, I always go ahead and do my spreads, my weekly spreads anyway, just because it makes more sense to me to do that. Um, I'm not stressing over it, make, trying to make sure it gets done because I find out when things are and I want to write them down so that's why I like to do that and then I have my monthly review I did spell monthly wrong I just noticed it like right before I was getting ready to do this video and I said you know what it's whatever so that is spelled wrong so just look over that and I think I might have spelled review wrong too but I'm dyslexic so you know what I have a reason and I really don't care it's mine I know I'm putting it out there for the world to see but it doesn't bother me I'll probably fix it later, but right now, it's fine. 
Um, I am going to put a quote here. I don't know what quote I want to put here yet. It may just become a doodle page too. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, but yeah. So that was the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked the way I did it. I mean, if not, I mean, I'm the one using it. So, but I really liked the way that it ended up turning out. I like all the little things that I did. It just worked really well for me. Um, but yeah, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'll leave the link to past bullet journal spreads if you want to pull some inspiration from there. I know I watch a ton of them. I'll also leave a link to um, Amanda's videos and her um, website too since that's where I got my bullet journal. Um, but yeah, so thanks guys so much for watching. Give this a big thumbs up. If you made it this far, comment butterfly because of the cute little butterfly right here. Um, but yeah, so until next time guys, bye.